And our top focus story, AIADMK Chief Jayalalitha finally walked out of the Bangalore Central Jail hours after Karnataka uh, special court's orders and a payment of surety amount of rupees 1 crore. Jayalalitha was released from prison. In her cavalcade, she headed for the Bangalore airport from where uh, she will take a charter plane to Chennai. Hundreds of AIADMK supporters have gathered outside the Chennai airport to receive her. Celebrations have already begun in Tamil Nadu after her release from jail. Well, 21 days in jail and Jail Lalitha finally walks out on a conditional bail that has been given to Jail Lalitha by the Supreme Court. Uh, there were a lot of uh, supporters who had in fact reached Bangalore to receive Jail Lalitha from where she has taken a private charter plane to Chennai and of course a grand reception has been planned back home. We are given to understand that a human chain will in fact be made from the Chennai airport all the way to Jail Lalitha's Poets Garden residence. Hundreds of supporters have taken to the streets. Protests in Tamil Nadu have in fact converted into celebration. My colleague Rohini Swami, who has been reporting from outside the Bangalore Central Jail, filed this report for us a short while ago. Let's listen in. The former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Jay Jalata, has been released from jail. As you can see, the ADMK supporters are absolutely ecstatic. They have been dancing and they have been screaming, singing songs in praise of her. They've been here waiting for 48 hours, rain or sun, just to the fact that they wanted Jalata released. But more importantly, the whole point is that the court had made it very clear that the trial court judge had to decide on the surety, uh, you know, surety of two crores per uh, each of them has been given a total of eight crores surety was given based on that and the conditional bail that the Supreme Court had mentioned very specifically saying that these uh, that is on these conditions on these conditions that she will be released then that uh, it is based on that that she was released how she heads directly to Chennai but her legal battle is not over yet she has to fight a battle because it is almost that she's got bail only for a few months we need to see how she tackles her case and how she takes her case forward with Cameron Shrimuthi Roni Swami in Bangalore for headlines today. Well, Jayalita may be out of court or may be out of jail on a conditional bail that has been granted by the Supreme Court, but her legal battle is far from over. Uh, but finally, some relief uh, for J. J. Lalita there. She has been granted bail, remember, on health grounds by the Supreme Court. She has to submit detailed documents, 35,000-page documents, to the Supreme Court by the 18th of December. The Tam former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, J. Lalita, has given the Supreme Court her word that there will be no attempt to delay criminal appeal proceedings in the Karnataka High Court. While Jayalalitha may have gotten bail, her legal battle is far from over. She can only return as uh, the chief minister. She can only return to public office once there is a reversal of her conviction on appeal in the Karnataka High Court. While her legal battle is far from over, there is celebration across Tamil Nadu. My colleague Shisha Reddy joins me live from outside Poets Garden. Uh, Shisha, as uh, Jayalalitha is expected to arrive in Chennai shortly, we're given to understand that there is a human chain that has in fact been formed all the way from the Chennai airport to Poets Garden. Take us through the atmosphere on, on the ground. Well, exactly, Rishika. Huge celebration has been planned right outside Jairalta's Poets Garden residence and uh, a party car has have uh, already gathered and are on a human chain from the Chennai airport to her residence in Poets Garden, which is at least about like 10 to 12 kilometer stretch. And this is the scene. I mean, it just looks very, very dramatic, like people holding umbrellas and few people are, I mean, are standing even without umbrellas. It, it just shows right. that they have been worshipping uh, Jailalitha as, 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 as a god. And we have been seeing the posters uh, on, on similar lines as well. But on the other hand, uh, as far as uh, uh, Chennai is concerned, right outside her residence is concerned, yes, of course, uh, the people have been uh, waiting with crackers, distributing sweets. It is more of a Diwali celebration for them. They say today Absolutely. is uh, the Diwali and Diwali has arrived. Chennai has arrived for his garden a week before. It's great. Well, absolutely early Diwali in Tamil Nadu for uh, the AIA DMK especially and the latest...
All right, with the latest that we're getting in is that uh, Jay Lalita is likely to arrive at the Chennai airport anytime soon. Uh, you know, Shisha, apart from the fact that the AIA DMK party cadre is out in full strength on the streets of Chennai and in different parts of Tamil Nadu, there were various senior leaders of the AIA DMK who also went all the way to the Bangalore airport to, in fact, welcome Jay Lalita and escort her home. Well, exactly, Rishika. There were a lot of uh, AIDMK leaders, uh, MLAs, MPs, including uh, the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister O. Pani Selvam. He, he drove down all the way to Bangalore's uh, uh, central prison because, remember, Jailalata did not even meet any of the leaders uh, from the time she was uh, uh, arrested and she was in the jail for about like uh, 21 days. She didn't meet any of uh, the leaders, right. any of the MLAs or MPs, including the Chief Minister. So yesterday, the time when she, when she came out of the jail, so all these ministers wanted to go and welcome her. And of of course, a grand gala event has already been planned. There are other ministers who are still uh, right. At, uh, right outside uh, her residence and also few ministers right at the airport. So they are planning it as a, as a victorious day uh, as uh, what the ADMK cadres have been uh, uh, telling us. But yes, of course, uh, the day that they have been waiting for for the past 21 days with a series of protests, hunger strikes, with the uh, burning effigies of uh, uh, the, the opposition parties in Tamil Nadu. So yes, this is the day that uh, the people were waiting for, though a long legal battle uh, is, is lying ahead of uh, the former chief. Well, absolutely. Obviously. Even though there is a long legal battle ahead for Jay Lalita, the AIA DMK supporters, they're out in full strength and protest, as Trisha has been telling us, that has been taking place over the past 21 days, has now turned into celebrations in full force. Grand celebrations have been uh, planned across Tamil Nadu to welcome the former chief minister back home. Pratibha Raman is also joining me live from the Chennai airport at this point in time. Pratibha, uh, Jayalalitha expected to arrive any time now. Take us through uh, what are the scenes that you're witnessing at the Chennai airport? Well, there are at least about thousands of uh, AIDMK cadres as well as her well-wishers and supporters who have lined up here in large numbers to welcome her. The rain not being a dampener at all. All of them with their respective umbrellas standing there despite rain or the heat. Uh, all of them here to welcome uh, Jalalita and each time a flight goes in or goes out, uh, all of them are waiting to see that glimpse of uh, Jalalita. She will wave her hand. There is a roar every time uh, they hear the flight land or take off. So that's the kind of spirit that you see at the airport right now. At least about 200 police personnel here who are stationed uh, to man uh, security for her and uh, even the uh, the road that takes uh, right from the airport to uh, Pearl's Garden, all of them, the entire uh, stretch of that road lined with posters uh, welcoming Jaila later. So there is a great spirit, uh, enthusiasm as well as joy in uh, all these faces as they scream out, all of them prepared uh, uh, to strew flowers as well as uh, sing slogans in her uh, uh, praises. So that's the kind of spirit. Most of the ministers have also arrived here to uh, give her a grand welcome as well as uh, some of uh, the noted actors from the summer cinema too who are right. here. So noted actors, ministers, all making a beeline at the Chennai airport. And of course, uh, the AIA DMK party cadre and Jail Alita supporters who are out in full force at the Chennai airport. And as Pratibha has been pointing out, that every time a flight lands, uh, they uh, you know erupt in a cheer, thinking that it is uh, Jail Lalita. Uh, you know, uh, Pratibha, I'd just like to bring you in on the point that the legal battle for Jail Lalita is far from over. The party cadre who are you know enthused and optimistic about about her return to the chief minister's chair are they at all you know aware of the fact that this is a conditional bail that has been granted her legal troubles are far from over and she is still uh, you know far from returning to the chief minister's chair that's right though they are aware of this whole uh, uh, legal battle that is going to uh, continue for quite some time now but then the first step which is to uh, get her bail or get her out of uh, that prison for now and let her stay in Chennai, uh, stay put here at least for some time is a great relief for uh, most of the AIA DNK cadre. And they feel that the first step is one and uh, slowly the other steps will uh, shortly follow. So that's the spirit that they are in right now. Right, absolutely. Also, uh, Pratipa, any tentative time of arrival of Jay Lalita that has been ascertained? What time is she expected to land and what is going to happen immediately after she lands? What are the celebrations that have been planned along the airport? There was, there was word of a human chain that is being made uh, from the airport all the way to her post garden residence? 
That's right. In fact, uh, so many of them lined here, especially the entire stretch of this particular road here, right from uh, um, uh, at least about a kilometer that runs from the airport. I can see faces of a uh, lot of these AIA, DMK loyalists as well as well-wishers who have lined up. And uh, in fact, I did uh, hear some of them even whispering to each other, stating that the students' wing of uh, uh, the AIA, DMK, all of them will be uh, arriving shortly to form this uh, human chain here to give her this grand welcome and all these posters that are uh, set up despite the rain I, I could see a lot of them in their vehicles setting up posters in uh, different uh, areas of uh, Chennai and uh, the rain is definitely not being a damp and all of them Absolutely. with their respective umbrellas here standing here waiting to see that glimpse of Jalalita so all of them waiting to shout out slogans and phrases of her well, it is early Diwali, it appears, in Tamil Nadu and the rain definitely not playing dampener. Shisha Reddy is reporting from outside Poe's Garden. Pratibha Raman will be joining us again live from the Chennai airport. Rohini Swami is in Bangalore. Reporters have found out. We're going to continue to track all the updates on this story as Jail Alita walks out of jail. After 21 days, there is celebration across the length and breadth of Tamil Nadu. Well,